Here we are at Kelso Dunes, walking up to the dunes, seeing lots of lizards, lots of tracks in the sand. Eventually we're going to try to maybe hike up to this thing. A lot of tracks in the sand. This is the plant we're looking for, Ariognum inflatum, the inflated bit. And here's the, the larvae of the butterfly that lays its eggs on this plant. Can you show the larvae again? Yeah, it's right here. Oops. Metal marks, it's mormo. What's the genus? Epidemia. Epidemia, that's right. And it lays its eggs in the little crooks here. There's some down here. And those get parasitized by the wasp that we're looking for. This one has a little wasp exit hole. That's no good. Here's another one up here. That one looks like it might be good. So we just snip it off and check the rest of the branches. There's another one. And we save that, take it back, and see what comes out. Whether it's a larvae or a wasp. Hey, Mahul, what are you doing? I'm going through about a thousand eggs of mormos to see if any of them, them emerge with either wasp or the larvae of mormos. And we're looking through a pity. What is that? Apidium mormo? Apidemia mormo? Apidemia mormo, What about you, Angela? What are you doing? I'm um, calling it processing, taking the eggs off the plants and putting them into individual vials. And sometimes they're stuck together, and that's a real pain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look what we found here. What is, what, what is that? It's a sea urchin. It's an echinoderm. Well, what, what do you remember from 1108 about that? It's an Echinodermata phyla, phylum, and uh, it has uh, two feet for mo moving, a close relative to a uh, starfish. There we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there. Cool. There, Angela just exposed uh, the stomach and its digestive system right there, which inverts. Yep. And the two feet, which is the water vascular system that runs it to keep it moving, slow moving.